All right. So, um... Is this, uh... You're going to do a cold open or what? Okay, so are we doing cold open right now as you speak? Yeah. Yeah, right? sure. This is a FNL. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Friday well, Night Live. I'm, I'm holding in my hand right now this uh, charging station uh, that I picked up from Canadian Tire. Um, Sexy car charging station, I might add. It's pretty yeah, nice. It's a, um, a total output of 6.8 uh, amps. Oh, wonderful. Over four, uh, four uh, USB ports. Oh, great. So uh, it can charge anything from a cell phone to a tablet. And I bought four of them. Mm. And Room for four I'm going to have to return two because... Um, two watts each. Two, yeah, two amps USB each. Wheel those, yeah. Two of our two, uh, two of members of our crew uh, round table uh, decided uh, not to show up. Uh, and left, to f- left us to fend for ourselves, uh, Eugene and Marco. So I uh, presented uh, JR and the champ here, uh, one each, for their birthdays. And um, as for Marco and uh, Eugene, uh, I'm just going to get my money back. I bet you can't wait to take that home, cut the tape, roll it out. Take it Stick out of the, the plugs Stick. right in. Oh, yes. Okay, are you too retarded? <laughs> On the front did you, hole. Did you and not then think I probably hole. bought one for myself already? And then the back hole. Duh. Oh yeah. Do you think I don't have one at home already? It's got. It's got. Oh, you think oh, I bought so, the four of you oh, so only? Already the best the feature. Oh, rolled it out, let's stuck let's, it in the hole. Chap, the best feature. It's got four slots. Oh my god. For a four. Menage, hey, hold on. Hold on. Oh my listen, god. Listen, if you're gonna if you're gonna say say it right, it's four ports. Four, oh, is that what you call them? Four large, lovely. ports. I like to stick it in your back but the, port. But the uh, <laughs> but the but the devices sit in slots. Because <laughs> we love slots yeah. on this show. Oh my god. <laughs> Anyways, giggity. Do you when you were young and you wanted to set the world on fire. Welcome to the Crew Roundtable Podcast featuring Big V, Marco, Gino, and JR. With your host, the champ who runs the camp, Sal Champ. Visit us at crewroundtable.com. Welcome, everyone, to another edition of the Crew Roundtable podcast. I'm your host, Sal Champ. And as Gino would say, the champ that runs the camp? That is correct. The champ that (laughs) runs the camp. So before we begin, I want to send out a shout out to Mark and Gino, who is not with us. Um, and I'll let uh, Big V and JR fill in the blanks on where they are. We have the skeleton crew here. Uh, Big of V, welcome. Of the crew welcome. round table. Of the crew round table. Big V, welcome. Oh, giggity, sir. Giggity. And uh, I just received a uh, lovely letter from uh, our uh, comrade Mark. Uh, Marco, he, <laughs> apparently he is doing well in Siberia at the moment. Uh, just to uh, backtrack, uh, apparently he got picked up from the uh, Soviet Union. They came and drafted his uh, white... Uh, uh, communist ass. The, 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 the uh, Volan drafted. The, 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 uh, apparently, uh, yeah, apparently he had to undefect uh, exactly. in order to go back. So <laughs> I once saw that paperwork, red tape was taken care of. The Red Army came, took him away, and uh, he's doing good right now up there in Siberia. Wonderful. Um, JR, welcome. I think I saw uh, Gino on my way over. Yes. Uh, he's uh, working Church Street like... Yeah. Oh, like another working girl in the fishnets and the lipstick. Well, well, uh, Hooker Harvey's? Hooker Harvey's? Was he, yeah, if, yeah. Correct, if I remember correctly. He is still, was he showing off he's his got, creamy he's white got thighs? Lot, and he's got a lot of, he's got a lot of university tuition. Chicken. <laughs> yeah, and from what I know, he grew back his hair. Oh, because the men like it like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Before we begin, I just want to remind everyone that you can catch us on Twitter mm-hmm. at Crew Roundtable, like our Facebook page. Don't forget to listen to us on the YouTube as well. If you have a mobile device, you can catch us on iTunes and the Google Play Store and Stitcher Radio and wherever you find your fine podcasts. So in this edition of, um, don't worry, I'll shout out your shows at the end of the episode. (laughs) No problem, no problem. I don't know if that's what you were waiting for. I have no shows, so I'm okay. Oh, you do have a show. Actually, at the end of this episode, I would like to do some shout-outs to our, some really oh, good yeah, fans yeah, on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Um, they've been the response to our latest promotion has been fantastic. So we're, we'll give some shout-outs to a couple Don't of. Don't forget. No, no, I won't forget. Don't forget. That's on you. I'm not. If I forget, it's not my fault. Okay. You okay. could write it down. I may write it down, but still, okay, fine. I'm going to forget. 
Uh, so in this edition, we're going to be talking about IoT, the Internet of Things, um, which is, you know, the IoT used to be called machine to machine. Um, oh, really? It, it, yeah. And Makes then it, sense. it evolved to Internet of Things, IoT. And basically, in a nutshell, if I, if I explain it right, this is where uh, your common devices are now attached to the Internet. We're talking non-computers. Yeah. Non- We're talking about light switches, non- non- thermostats, yeah. Yeah. fridges that tell you basically when you're running out of milk or you need to go buy some more bananas, your stove, anything that basically runs in your home that requires electricity, you have the opportunity to control it uh, if you're really lazy at home with your phone. Or primarily the use of it is supposed to be when you're not at home through your phone. Now, the IoT that I, I work with at, uh, at work is a little bit more advanced where an input from a sensor goes into a machine. The machine does something. No human uh, involved at all. But this one's a little bit different. I would imagine it's, it's higher yeah. end. So it's, yeah. it's probably a little more secure. Yeah, so uh, be, like, like I said, uh, this is where your common household items are now attached to the network. Yes. So, 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 what do you have to say about it? Well, hold on. What, what, what do you want what, to say? What is what is the question being presented to us? Is yeah, it multitude what, what, what of questions? Are you saying? Oh, is, is it a good is, thing? Is it a good thing? Is right. it? Can it lead to danger? And I'm I'm going to come out and say yes. Mm-hmm. It is a real problem. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the last two years, we've we've seen at least two. Uh, major issues with uh, on, 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 on Android phones that were quickly patched, but only on the high end phones. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and we're talking we're talking expensive phones, and it's hard to squeeze a security update in any timely manner from from most vendors. You yeah. think your you think your fifty dollar uh, your fifty dollar you know nanny cam or the door lock or the, oh, the you know those I hate new, that. those new video camera uh, doorbells ring yes, those, yes. you know those what is it called ring doorbell yeah yeah, 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 yeah they're, they're, they're handy yeah, yeah. They, I gotta say they're, they're handy, handy. handy the only yeah. problem is that they, they they do if not properly secured they they can present a back door into your or front door literally mm-hmm. into your home network mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. basically you, you can if they're not properly secure if they don't handshake properly and and, and don't follow proper rules mm-hmm. you know you can connect to the device and since the device is connected to your Wi-Fi or your or your ethernet now that now, now the attacker has a backdoor right into your, your right network. into your network yeah and network so, network being to Either your laptops, your desktops, or your cell phones. Yeah, basically anything on your network then becomes uh, attackable. Well, and because uh, they're obviously looking for things that are actually worth uh, attacking or, true, or getting but into. You never, you, never, you never know what people carry a lot of information on their devices. That's like what you, I mean. You yeah. can you can, and they don't they don't go looking for it. They get onto your network. They find something. They just pull everything they can, hmm. and then they'll sift through it afterwards. I mean, they're not looking for anything. It's a, it's it's a electronic smash and grab, mm-hmm. basically. Mm-hmm. And in and out, basically like a timed robbery. And not the You're, good in and out 30, either. <laughs> you got three minutes in a bank. Any more than that, the cops might be uh, coming uh, down the street. I mean, uh, Google themselves, uh, uh, five or six years ago, when they were, when they were. Um, Going around with uh, Google Street View is one. It was right in early days of Street View. Mm-hmm. For some reason, they were scanning Wi-Fi networks. Oh, at the same, I, nobody they can They never explained why they were doing this, but apparently, the cars were find. It was basically logging how many open networks there oh, were. Oh, un, un, um, unsecured with, uh, with yeah with passwords. Yeah, either unsecured or weakly secured with the well, bad encryption. Back in, back with in the, the day, that was, that was actually quite common. Yes, um, and but also was, also back in the day, uh, the wireless routers were shit, and you'd be lucky if they went past the second floor. Never mind outside the, the walls of the house. This is true, but that's the problem. <laughs> Is that because all these devices have little web servers inside them yeah. now? <coughs> yeah. They're basically right. They're starting at one point oh again, because unfortunately, you know, we're not talking about a seventy or eighty dollar router. We're talking about a fifty, a ten or fifteen dollar light bulb. Yeah. You know, the, I know the Philips Hues are oh, all yeah. Wi-Fi connected, yeah. so you can 
you can either change the colors by your phone or you can just automatically turn different rooms on and off. And that's ridiculous. That, that's crazy. Uh, I've seen I've seen internet connected door locks. Yes. So oh, you can yeah, you, you can go like, with your you phone like and you basically tap and open uh, it tap the lock, lock to open it. I I got a story about a, a door those those smart door locks. So, okay, go on. Uh, before the job I'm doing now, I was going door to door, and <laughs> the guy comes out. We're talking, and I said, "Oh man, is that one of those new smart door locks?" He's like, "Oh yeah." And he closed the door behind him, and he got locked out of his house <laughs> because he had the <laughs> phone inside. Yeah, I don't know what something happened. I think the the thing malfunctioned. <laughs> he, he, something happened where he was pushing the buttons and something, and I'm like, "This is." Uh, and this I never liked and him from the beginning. And this is where he walked away. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm yeah. Like, it, it, it's, luck, it's stuff like that. Go. That it, it makes people. On top of that, people aren't security minded. No. You know the number of people who don't even put security put passwords on their phones is is is, uh, is pretty huge. And then, so now you're now you're expecting these people to be diligent enough to secure the light bulb, secure the the toaster, secure secure well, the fridge, well, hold on, secure hold on. The, the fire alarm. Like every time you add something to your network, yeah, it's a weak, it, could, it isn't necessarily diligence. It's it's ability. If if, if they're technologically technologically sorry, if they have the actual know how or the tech savviness to to secure all of these things or any of them to begin with, you're right. I mean, and the which three, also, uh, quite often uh, I would say three quarters of them aren't. I would say it's even bigger than that. I mean, the three of us here are pretty. I would say we're we're pretty advanced internet uh, device users, and uh, we could easily forget one or two. Mm-hmm. You know, it's mm-hmm. just like how many times we can all reprogram the, all the clocks. Every time there's a time change, we miss one. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and that's pretty basic. Now, when you're talking higher uh, tech functions, uh, I, I, I really find that uh, th- that's a huge security hole. On top, uh, and on top of that, these things are always on. Yeah, either they're, they're always, always on. They're either always on, but they, just in terms of power, they're the either always got a battery yes. on them. They're always got a. They're always. They always have to be connected to the internet. They're always so, watching you. So especially, you know, in Ontario with our current uh, electricity situation. Do you let's, need, let's do you be mindful though. Our our costs for electricity is still minute compared to many states uh, in the U.S. And true, but they're and still pretty provinces. high. I mean, you're not. That's not as bad as other sta- states. And there's, well, we, we're going to revisit that uh, next season. But uh, right now, we, suffice it to say, we I, we do have very high electricity rates, and you don't and and stuff like that is referred to as a vampire device. Oh yes, where it's on when you don't know it's on. Uh, you know anything that's a light that gets warm, yeah. uh, that, that's using power when you're not using it. TVs are always use it, drawing a I little bit were, of power. I oh, thought yeah. they were va- um, phantom. Uh, what was called va- phantom? Uh, no vampire or something. Ooh, I uh, vampire. I think the devices are ghost, ghost, uh, ghost. sucking. I think they, yeah. I think they depending on who you talk to, they're using different terms. But I, I, the term I've heard is vampire devices, where they're always on. Well, and in some cases, that- you can't go get away from that. Well, I can understand because you just you just indicated that these things are network linked. So that means they all have small Wi-Fi uh, uh, antennas and abilities. Yes, that Wi-Fi has to remain on at all times yeah. in order to wait to wait or stand by to accept a, a, a signal. So yeah, of course they're they're vampire uh, 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 appliances. Yeah. No. You know. Sure. Each 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 the each device will brag that it itself it has a low standby power usage and that's true but when you have 20 30 40 mm-hmm. of these things how much wattage is that that's a lot mm-hmm. you know if it's a five watts over you know 20 items that's 100 watts it's like leaving an old incandescent on all the time so so uh, do you got either of you guys have uh, smart devices i have nothing I don't believe I do. I, I'm pretty sure I don't. Seriously? I mean, I've got my, I've got com- network devices. I got a computer. Yeah. Okay, and, Benny. And Benny, stuff, you, you have no clue that if you have a light switch, a light bulb, or I'm a trying thermostat, to recall. That, you know, honestly, I'm trying to recall. I, if I, I don't think I have any, but I could be wrong. I, I could be wrong. I, I'm trying to think. I used to have a, I used to have a Chromecast. Oh yeah. But then I lent, Actually, it, to, I lent it to somebody else. Yeah. So uh, never got it back. The Chromecast is more of your uh, actually. I have TV a cast. Yeah, it's still a on though. It's still connected to the Wi-Fi. Mm. The Chromecast interacts with everything else. Is it listening? through Wi-Fi? Uh, 
Uh, oh. Now it is even more because apparently with uh, the new uh, Google Assistant, yeah. the little dock, it can connect to TVs, turn them on huh. because there's, there's um, what the hell is it, ED... EAC or something, electronic access control, okay. where the HDMI device can turn on turn it on and off the TV. My Fire TV does that. If I turn my Fire TV on, actually, and if I turn my Nexus box on, mm-hmm. TV clicks on. See, yeah, stuff like that. Well, do you have a so, smart TV? <clears throat> what? Is your TV a smart TV? That's a basic function. Yeah, no, uh, one TV is not smart, one TV is. And I it, could, it works could on both. The wrong, I'm uh, currently okay. using the wrong both. acronym, but... That that you can use whatever uh, acronym you want because I barely know what the hell you're talking about. But, well, go but ahead. basically, <laughs> where a, the device plugged into the HDMI <laughs> control yes, I, port yeah. can exact <laughs> control over your TV. So you can turn it on. Like say you have a DVD, say you have a Blu-ray player plugged into your TV. Yeah, yeah. Instead of turning on the TV, then turning on the sound system, then turning on the Blu-ray, you pre- you turn on the you turn on your Blu-ray player. Yes. And, and then it turns on the rest of them. Yeah, interesting. So yeah. you don't have it's it's a it's a, it's a way to simplify yeah. your uh, I think uh, your controls. I think the Playstations do that too. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, you know, I, Chromecast, I, I, I turn it on. Have, I if you have, have like a Chromecast, Chrome, uh, Chromecast. Uh, oh, okay. But I, I've unplugged the USB uh, power source in behind. Uh, I, okay. I, when I want to mm. use it, I'll just go to the TV and put That's it fair. in and yeah. use it. Yeah. It isn't exactly a, a function that I use all the time. Uh, personally, though, I have nothing, none of these 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 items in my home because, um, for two reasons. I was just going to ask you. Why? Well, not necessarily the security, but I'm more of uh, uh, more of a. For me, it's more of logic. Um, do I actually need any of this stuff to replace what's been commonly used for like literally half my life? Mm-hmm. Um. And is it literally cost effective? Like the smart thermostat Nest. So, like, straight out, I've owned two homes in the last 15 years. Both homes had a thermostat, which was basically programmable um, on two levels. One, Monday through Friday, and then Saturday, Sunday, separate program. Uh, You were able to program it separately. And every day of the week, you were given four different time slots. Okay, on, off, on, off, yada, yada. Yeah. Okay, this system has worked perfectly fine for me for the last 15 years. We know roughly when we come home, roughly when we don't. Weekends, well, whenever you leave, you don't, whatever. It's it's just, it's a crapshoot or whatever you're doing on the weekend. But basically, this thing cost me on sale <coughs> 40 or $50, not even, right? Was that yeah. with the uh, hydro rebate c- coupon that they always give out? No, I would, the, well, the, <laughs> the one that I bought 15 years ago at the old house, no, it was oh, just okay. whatever. When I, came, I, thought, when I bought I, the new uh, house, it I, had already one that was a programmable, oh, okay. right? And that's it. And it, it's, it's just fine, right? Now you're talking about these, as you indicated, the Nest. Mm. I've seen it. This thing is like the newest version. Is literally $300, Okay, and uh, JR explained before the show to me the way that it learns from you. But the thing is, you actually have to teach it, and you have to teach it over a two to four week period by when you come home, turn it on. When you leave the house, turn it off, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Well, how the hell is that any better than you having uh, a seven day programmable thermostat that I have? Mm -hmm. Program it once, and that's it, you're done. For 60 bucks. Yeah. Yeah, and instead of paying five times the amount for a Nest, where this is my thing, how for it to be worth the money you're spending for it to do literally the exact same thing, almost literally mm-hmm. the same thing as a programmable thermostat. How many times do you get? To, do you have to use it? The special function of it to by controlling it when you're not home via your phone. For it to actually be worth it. Like seriously, when you have your phone, you're not home. How many times in a month are you going to actually go to your phone and change the setting on it to correspond with what's happening with you that day? Mm -hmm. Right? Are you going to do it three times in a month? And and that's that's only half the problem. Right? Four times? Usually. Is that worth the cost? That's what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? But the compound is that. 
Then you've always got the one spouse or the one partner who isn't very tech savvy, no. and the shit never works for them. Exactly. Oh. You know, they are. They and just and will then, never touch it. You never it. hear it. They hear ne- the they end ne- of it. Yeah. Then they, they end up like, like for example, like the hue light bulbs always got to be on, and you and, and you're controlling with the phone. Mm. Well, then when so, if someone goes to click click, oh, I guess it's broken. And then suddenly it doesn't want to work anymore because the phone, because the light switch. And then you got to spend time like, uh, reprogramming gotta, or fixing well, it. Well, yeah, then you have to go and make sure each one is on. So yeah, troubleshooting that is a pain. Um, and then when it just doesn't work, then you get frustration. And, the, and then then the other partner starts working around and defeats the whole yeah the whole setup. So this so, is my th- <clears throat> this is my thing. It's like all these. Specific, I can I can understand maybe having light ball uh, control over over dimmers within the home if you're away to mimic it, that somebody's Someone's home. home. Uh, I know you used to have to go with the little timer attached yeah. to the lamps and yada yada, right? They've got they've got them built into the light switches now. Um, my brother has yes. one. Yes, mm-hmm. um, but <coughs> I can I can understand if you have a couple of those throughout the house, uh, just for security wise uh, via your phone. Yeah, but. But it doesn't, other, it doesn't turn on at the same time every yeah, night. Like, yeah. Oh, nine o'clock. Okay, this guy's not home. Right. So, but other things like stoves, fridges, thermostats, uh, these cameras that you indicated that uh, actually the camera's not too bad with regards to maybe parcel deliveries and, and 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 what. So you you know if a guy rings your doorbell and you're not home and you see him there, yo, leave the parcel. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That can work. <clears throat> That that's actually kind of cool, uh, but these other things is like are they even worth uh, having them to supposedly make your life better when you've gone most of your life without it? And is it worth I, the cost? I want now. You're right now, I want to know if Jr. Do you have any of these? Uh, no, I now that I'm thinking about, no, I have nothing that's that's internet connected. Outside of the computers themselves, mm-hmm. um, it's it's it sounds innocent enough. But you know, I listened to another podcast called All About Android, and they reviewed and and, and, and with uh, the Google Assistant, uh, I believe that's what it's called. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Android Assistant, the voice thing, but the Google Assistant is the little device. The, the, yeah. So home, that's really big, and and, and Google is right really. Targeting that as the whole the, the home of of uh, home automation. Yeah, uh, you know we it would be uh, okay. G, we're not gonna we're not gonna say the actual word because yeah. it's been known to activate people's phones. Oh no way! So yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, is, like, is this thing we're talking about that that's uh, that, that you white, put on a on a that, countertop that yeah. glows? Yeah, and yeah. Exactly. responds to you. Yeah. Yes, Shit. it's like yeah. it beca- it's supposed to be the hub. So you can like hey okay, G, uh, turn the lights on in the bedroom. And yeah. it turns on the lights, and you go upstairs, and the lights are already on. Yeah, and you know they are they are, and so I'm I'm listening to them talk, and they're they, everybody's got to get one. <gasps> and these things are two or three hundred dollars. It's three hundred. You know, they're bucks. very it's expensive. Cheap, yeah, they're very expensive. So then, and then then they're talking. Oh yeah, we've got some uh, couple of Hue light bulbs, which are either twenty or thirty dollars a piece. And just listening to these people talk, and I guess because they're on the show, and because they, this is their job, they probably write them all off. Uh, but I, I, you hear about them themselves turning over these de- personal devices, mm-hmm. yeah. right? Not the phones, because they all do phone reviews, so they're not actually all buying phones, or they they probably get rebated on the phones. But you do hear about them like, oh, I got I got this device, oh, I got this device, now I got this one, and this, that, and the other. And and you're, and you're driving along, you listen to the thing, and you're doing some mental mathematics, and it's like, Jesus Christ, how much are they fucking spending? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, like it's, to, it's to automate everything in your house oh, is yeah. worth more than the stuff you're trying to automate. Yeah, and then the time, and and the know how. Um, yeah, and again, if you, and if you're not both on the same page and super tech savvy, you're just wasting your time because then the other person does the does it the old stone way, the mm-hmm. you know the old uh, snail mail way. And uh, low tech, right? Mm-hmm. And then it throws your system off, and yeah, if, if it gives, it get it can get very fiddly, especially if you're not if you're not one to fiddle. Yes, if you don't now, like being fiddle. Here's uh, my thing. Yeah, how good is this shit when your internet's down or your router's down? Uh, it could either just be. Oh, it, you're right. That's a good point, and it can either work. It, it can it, it can vary from. Just works offline to doesn't work at all. 
Mm-hmm. You know, um, for example, the th- the Nest thermostat will work without network. Well, no, because you've, it, you've, fun- you've, you've, you've taught it. Yeah, so. it, it can run on its own without internet. It'll control your furnace. I mean, maybe you can't, like, talk to it and say, don't worry, I'm not coming home today. Don't, don't turn the AC on yet. But you can't do that control, but it'll work. But stuff, other stuff may not, especially if it's not saving the video. Like, for example, if you've got an, uh, a camera then that, that feeds the internet, feed, uh, broadcasts the, uh, the, the video to, to a device, yep. well, now you're, not seeing that de- now you're not seeing the video, and it's not recording the video because it's not designed to store, exactly. to store the video, it's especially store it if it's a cheaper, else. right? Yeah. Yeah. And it happened to me this morning. I was, I was what happened, uh, Anna? Couldn't what happened anymore. Mrs. Big V? The uh, internet uh, at home crapped out for a while. And I, I don't know why, because when I went home during my split, it was back up burning again, right? I was mm-hmm. doing email and whatsoever. But for a few hours, wherever there, I'm, I'm, I have to conclude it was it was Tech Savvy or, or, or Rogers. Yeah. Um, because well, I didn't touch it. When I came back on my split, I didn't touch it, So and it was running again. So I'm going to conclude it was one of the, the other, one of the two. Uh, but... I have the OIP. Well, guess what? No, anybody who's come to my house, nothing went through. Yeah, I probably went to voicemail, but, you know, I didn't, uh, I, I mean, I'm guessing nobody called because they didn't get any uh, any voicemail messages emailed to me. But that's the thing, right? Yeah. Another 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 uh, piece of software that's coming, uh, that, that, that that's supposed to tie everything together is called uh, If This Then That. Well, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's uh, so IF, like computer IF, language. But that's I-T-T-T. already a website. It's also an app. Okay. Basically, if if this then that is a scripting language for your phone, so you can auto, it's phone automation, which tie and, it, and it's it's been tying it into this kind of stuff. For example, let's say you've got your internet connected door lock, like yes. the, the guy Sal was talking about. Uh, let's say what, what what you can do is you can program your phone so when you connect to your home network. Unlock the door mm-hmm. so that you're driving in, you uh, you get out of your car, the door is already open, you don't have to take your keys out. Mm. You know, it takes a little work. I've heard the I heard learning curve on if this then that uh, can be pretty steep, but once it works, it's great. But again, internet's down, that doesn't work. Your Wi Fi, let's say the Wi Fi router is down, your phone doesn't connect, so mm-hmm. it doesn't initiate the unlocking. If you decided to not bring your house keys that day because you're being fucking lazy, then you're uh, then you're hosed. Then you then you're then you're locked out of the house. Oh, lazy because you you don't bring your house keys. That, that, yeah, that you've gone lazy. Like oh, that's that is like, ultimate. Ultimate. It is well, ultimate. No, no, it's the same. I'm business. not going to bring my house keys today. No. because I got my phone. No, hold on. Never. It's no, no diff- I would never do that. No I could never do that. There's no difference in saying not carrying cash because you're all plastic. This is the same. It's the same difference, Sal. Yeah. It's the exact champ, same champ, thing. It's the same thing. If you if you become accustomed to not, not having to, to physically open, well, I'm or, all for or, carrying uh, sorry, cash. Unlock or lock your door. I'm all for cash, right? And you just what's the point of bringing my key anymore? The one day that everything goes to shits, you shit out of luck. Yeah, the ba- I guess the do- the doors I think are battery powered. Yeah. So I don't know how long. I can't imagine the battery well, turnover. They are, they are lithium, so uh, I'm guessing they last a good eight to ten years. Yeah, but I'm just wondering on a charge because they're they're always transmitting and Wi-Fi. Is, Wi-Fi is not the most energy efficient transmission. No. Uh, so I'm just curious what the lifespan of those batteries are. How often are you, you know charging what? it? How you many times what? do you have to? Be that's, that's a pain in the ass. But I would not be surprised if those locks um, basically will start broadcasting either to your phone or physically on it with an LED light or, mm-hmm. or an audio alarm like one or two days before it basically the batteries no longer have enough juice. Could do okay, that. Okay, now that we now to that one, that's, that's, that's true. Now, how often do you, does somebody... Put up with the chirping on the fire, the smoke detector before they first change it. Now imagine. I change it within twelve imagine, hours. Imagine every. I, I, I honestly, I'll usually go about two weeks before I change it. I, two it's just, weeks. It, I, sometimes I'm not home. I'm just busy, and it's easy to forget. And you're just not. You don't have any batteries all in right. the house. You know. But okay. First of all, it's called rechargeable uh, nine volts, and second of all, 
when it's chirping, the actual alarm may not work anymore. Yes. No, no, I'm, I'm not I'm not saying it's okay. I'm not <coughs> fine, no, fine. But what I'm saying is uh, what happens if when any now you insurance have 30 companies devices. listening to this, please. <gasps> what if you have 30 devices yelling at you to change batteries? Oh yeah, like, that's awful. Uh, alarm well, Force well, has the Alarm the Force children. has this has their new uh, has been pushing their wireless uh, alarm system, yes. which is kind of a more uh, self-contained internet of things, right? Except it's not connected to the Wi-Fi, it's just connected to their one base station. But mm -hmm. you've got cameras, you've got sensors all over the house, mm -hmm. they've all got batteries. Mm -hmm. When one goes down, now your house is not secure, mm -hmm. right? So uh, I personally am not going to buy into the internet of things. Right. Um, the convenience that they present is is very limited, very specific, like big like Big V said before. And I would imagine, unless you're really tech savvy, that the, the amount of time it takes to make that stuff convenient, to implement the automation, by the time it's implemented, that product either stops working or it's obsolete. Mm -hmm. And then and version 2.0 comes out because the app upgraded and doesn't support the old ones anymore. That's true. Yeah, the that's the that's the catch twenty two with technology. Oh, okay. Well, well prime you know? example well, is all our cell phones, right? Like, they come now. It's like even worse. Like they come out with a new model of cell phone. Yeah. Well, with say the the line that you have, right? Yeah. Um, let's use LG for example. Mm -hmm. And I went out. Um, bought her got her phone uh, about a, just uh, maybe a year, year and a quarter ago. <laughs> Uh, they had the Elf, uh, they had the LG four, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and the three was on sale with like uh, uh, I think it was like a two hundred dollar Best Buy card. And we're like, oh, okay, it's the model just before the newest one they have. Let's go with that. Literally, two months later, LG five. <laughs> okay, true, true. All right, like literally. So it's like now, uh, what are they on for LG? Are they on uh, another model now? Well, this was when? Sure, a I'm year sure ago? The G6 so probably, yeah. The, the G8 is coming year out. Six? Yeah. G, oh. G8 may be coming out. But, yeah, see what I mean? But, so in, in, but in the phone's defense, if you don't drop the phone a lot, like even if, the sh if, even if you don't shatter the screen, the phone mm -hmm. takes a lot of abuse from the shock. Like the, 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 the solder joints mm. can crack, mm. you know, the, the different, different internal things cannot, just don't like being dropped. But if you can be careful with the phone and you drop it limited, a phone will last a long time. Yes. I know my dad was using my HTC Hero. Mm. It's oh, the first model HTC Hero that I bought second hand 2011. Wow. Or okay. late 2010. Yeah. And, that, and it was already about two years old, that model. Stopped using it about a year ago because the battery just wasn't holding a charge yeah, anymore. Sure. So that phone ran for a good six years. No, no. Uh, yeah. Seven or maybe seven, maybe eight years for that cell phone. I mean, I mean, obviously he was just using it as a phone. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Fair enough. But it will, a phone will function quite easily yeah. for a long time if yeah. it's treated properly. It, that's well, true. I'm just using so, phones as yeah, an example I'm for with technology. You. But it's, it's just like, things, just, yeah. it's like not even a year now and certain things, technologically wise, start becoming obsolete as, as you indicated. So it's like, that's another, another uh, disadvantage with going with some of this stuff uh, in the internet of things. It's like, if you buy something and it's only going to be somewhat useful because mm -hmm. of updates or whatever for only like two years well what the hell was the point of buying it but that's even worse because they're not these items are not very expensive so the companies that make them are not going to fix the firmware there are almost zero firmware updates mm -hmm. for these things so if there's a a bug where i don't know um the power flickers on and off and suddenly the door unlocks mm -hmm. well, they're not gonna that's never gonna get fixed it's just not an expensive enough item, hmm. and uh, they usually they're not, not they're not the, the uh, Internet of Things devices are not designed to thought. be uh, I would have thought they would upgraded. Fix something, uh, um, like maybe the lock, if it's, <laughs> maybe if the lock is four hundred five hundred dollars, sure. Mm. But uh, an any cam that somehow starts recording uh, every leap year, yeah. For example, 
You know, the, there's no, you know, the, it hits a, it hits a February 29th. And suddenly the the phone the, the the screen the, the the video camera starts recording. Mm-hmm. You know they'll never fix that because it's not worth it. Well, gentlemen, uh, it's been a pleasure talking on the IoT uh, subject, but we're gonna have to close it off. Uh, Big V, you've got one minute to uh, say your final thoughts. Um, straight out, not worth the money, not worth the time. Uh, maybe with the exception of maybe one or two items, uh, but as a whole, I don't find. The expense um, worth uh, the comfort or the uh, the betterment of life, if that's what these products are supposed to do, uh, worth it. Yeah, agreed. Jr. Final thought. One minute. I would agree. I would. Uh, I agree with Big V there. Keep if you really need to stay away from them as much as you can. If you absolutely need one. Buy it from a reputable company. Uh, I'm sure the Google devices are all updated pretty frequently. But if you don't know the name, if you don't trust the company, I would steer away from them. If you can't pronounce the company name. (laughs) Yeah, basically. (laughs) Yeah, I agree. Uh, And for me, for me, it's more that they can be evasive, uh, you know. Uh, Like the Nest. You you put Nest on your thermostat and for me and... (coughs) This could again. I'm going to an extreme. You've just given control of your thermostat to the company, uh, and who knows what data they can pull from you and stuff like that. Yeah, oh, I mean, right? we were, we've been dumping on Google, but on Android. But uh, I believe at the last uh, Apple uh, developer conference, they announced the HomePod. Which What's that? It's their answer to the uh, to Google uh, to Android to Google Assistant. Oh, I, it's, 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 I thought it's, they it's just used Siri. So, so in other yeah, words, no, another, it, another it words. Is, it's still Siri, yeah. but it's a device. Yeah, yeah, it's a yeah, Bluetooth yeah, yeah. speaker that answers to voice commands. <laughs> so in other, in other words, another it's another bitch in a box. Oh, oh. We, sorry. We, the the, the uh, opinions expressed by Big V <laughs> do not reflect the uh, crew round table or the or its network or subsidiary shows. <laughs> hold on, hold or on. Or Let me hold on, hold on. We don't, we don't, we don't refer to the, we don't use that hold phrase on. It's on a the box, show. and you're basically telling it what to do all the time. Oh. It's a command box, yeah. All right. Um, okay, so we're going to close it off now. Thank you, everyone, for listening. I want to thank my guest, Big V, JR. Thank you for joining me here, the Skeleton Crew. Um, uh, before we close it off, though, uh, oh. two shows that um, we want you to catch on the, uh, on the <coughs> podcast. But before we, get to get, before we get to get that, let's get to some shout-outs. JR, take it over. Yes, we re- recently we started a, a major uh, promotion push and several of uh, several of our listeners listeners or new listeners tweeted back at us and we just wanted to uh, shout out some thanks uh, primarily beginning off Chris Muse at, at the silent G who uh, is, is hopefully now a listener we uh, we did a an exchange for with uh, VPN for VNP for life at get a new name lad mm-hmm. is a uh, host of the video negative podcast. Um, by the pod evangelist at pod evangelists uh, spin out pronounced pretty uh, phonetically. We did a, uh, a podcast link exchange with them as well. There were a couple of, uh, uh, English women that uh, I haven't done. I've only listened to the pot, the, the, the pilot cast. I have not seen that here. Listen to the second episode just yet, but ladies, we will be listening. A big shout out to you. Uh, sh- European champs. Number 50. Uh, like uh, they retweeted us. They're, uh, they're good guys. Uh, in addition to Thammy at shy Lewis underscore. And, uh, and finally, The Online Warriors, which is, uh, looks to be a video gaming podcast. Ah, oh, sweet. Uh, where, uh, did, uh, liked, liked one of our tweets and responded. So Wonderful. Big shout out to them. Oh, Wonderful. Oh, oh. Let's not forget, a big shout out to both Marco and Eugene. Both you, Mark, make sure you stay warm out there in Siberia. <laughs> And you, when you're working those late nights uh, across the street from Hooker Harvey's, you make sure that you, make sure you, you, you stay warm too, okay? Nobody likes hard nipples. It's summertime, man. It's pretty hot out there. <laughs> Anyways, folks, um, 
when you do subscribe to our feed, there's also two other shows uh, that are broadcasting on the Crew Roundtable Network, and that is JR Talks to People, uh, a brand new show where JR talks to people. It's, it's my interview show. It, right. He interviews people uh, with his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> as, opposed, as, as opposed to the Ace Ventura ass talking. Yes. <laughs> tried, that, oh tried that one. Didn't go over well. Oh that pilot God. did not get published. And for our, yeah. <laughs> and for our existing oh subscribers, you can continue to listen to Hot Takes with Gino. Uh, several episodes uh, uh, um, uh, scattered through the feed. So three shows for the price of one feed. Don't forget to catch us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, iTunes, Google Play Store, and wherever fine podcasts are distributed. Thank you for listening. I'm your host, Sal Champ. We'll catch you on the next episode. Ciao for now. Uh, it's a giggity.